My guy, what's up, bro? What's good? What's good, bro? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I appreciate you for joining me, man. I know you're a busy guy, so I don't want to take too much of your time. I know. It's all good, man. I appreciate being on here, man. For real. Okay. You know, how you doing? Everybody, you know, you and the fam, everybody safe? Staying safe? Yeah, yeah everybody's yeah. cool, man. Fam's doing good. Uh, brothers and everything straight. And yeah. so it's been cool to you know, spend some quality time with them. Okay. How about you? Okay. Oh, yeah, we staying safe, man. You know, yeah. uh, it, it's, it's crazy. Illinois is right now. The numbers going back up like crazy. So I'm just like, all right, if I don't got to go nowhere, I'm staying home. You know, yeah. I already don't feel well now. So I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm scared, man, you know. Hell yeah. 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 All right, well, we're going to get right into it. Like I said, I definitely appreciate you for joining me. Um, some of these questions, I'm going to kind of put you on the spot, you know, oh, yeah. let's see what you're going to say. Okay. Yeah. So the first question I start with is, who is the GOAT? MJ, Kobe, or Bron, and then put him in order. Well, the goat is uh, Bron, yep. and uh, in my particular order, mm -hmm. I got Bron at one, uh, Kobe, Jordan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You got any particular reason, or you just from you know? I think planning? Bron, the the totality of the way he plays the game. Yeah, um, has been something because for me, like I've always been a scorer. So I mean, Kobe and Jordan were the guys that I always looked at, like especially being a two guard. That it was like that's what you wanted to play like. Yeah. But then you watch Bron and you watch how he makes the game so easy, and still yeah. being able to to get buckets. Yeah. Um, it's it's different, you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, and with the size and the athleticism that he brings to the table, and let alone his IQ is unmatched. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, uh, I think that a lot of people, you know, don't want to give that you know title to him. But mm -hmm. I mean, from seeing it up close in person oh, yeah. to you know watching it, you know, you know yeah. here today is just bro. He's different. It's, my, it's mind blowing. He's Something you never seen before, you know. Yeah, yeah, facts. that's why. I, that's how I feel about that. Okay, uh, for you growing up, who was your you know favorite player growing up? Oh man, uh, growing up. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, Kobe, of course. Um, Gilbert Arenas was mm -hmm. uh, up there. Brandon yeah. Roy uh, yeah. was another one. Uh, let's see. Mellow, Mellow was my guy right there, Mello, bro. Mellow was my dude, man. Like, yeah, you know what's crazy? Before, like, I say, man, like after it was like 2010 or something like that. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I was like, you couldn't tell me before that. And I was like, I'm taking Mellow over everybody before that. Me to this then, day, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, then Bron just took it to another level, and I was like, oh shit, like this is. I yeah. see why he was the number one pick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the, yeah. uh, in the first uh, in 2003. So I was like, yeah. okay, Bron's like that. And then, it's uh, the truth. Yeah, okay. bro. Yeah, there's, and then Shaq. Shaq's probably my Stop all time it. favorite, though. Like, yeah. When it comes to, you know, like the people I really liked. Like Shaq yeah. was just dominant. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And just probably scared the shit out of people. You know what I mean? So it was like. Yeah. When you had yeah. somebody like that and the force that he brought, you know, the personality and mm -hmm. um, his underrated, you know, skill. Like, you know, Shaq was a hell of a passer that people don't really speak yeah. on. Um, and just how he can, you know, control the paint was just, during his time, the most dominant, you know. Right. So, uh, I definitely would say uh, those are some of the guys that I, I definitely Okay. Okay. You know, who is the young talent in the league that you like watching right now? Oh man, uh, really like Luca. Luca's yeah, Luca uh, nice. special. Um, Devin Booker yeah. is, is a dog. Um, Jamal Murray, really like watching him. Yeah. Uh, who else we got out there? Uh, Jokic. Jokic. I, I like. I like him, man. I really yeah. do. Yeah. Um, John Morant. Like John the docs, how he plays. But yeah. Like, he just. You know what I mean, finds a way to get it done, and yeah. uh, you know, I think his skill set is just phew, probably one that, like, I would, I for my game, I would love to play with because I know he's trying to, he's trying to find me, and yeah, I'm for sure trying to shoot it. So yeah, you know, like, 
I really, really like him, man. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I respect that. Um, for you, do you have a favorite basketball moment of your career? Mm, favorite basketball moment of my career? Uh, man. Uh, what, NBA, college? Like, Whichever. Yeah. Whichever you want to go with. Yeah. Mm. Well, I guess I got, like, I got a few. Uh, well, college would be just, you know, uh, playing with some of my, my well, one of my best friends, uh, mm -hmm. James Natalie, getting a chance to be one of the best, like, one-two punches in the in the West Coast at that time, mm -hmm. or shit, all the college basketball, uh, putting that school back on the map. Uh, yeah. Santa Barbara. That was pretty dope. Um, and uh, in the league, yeah, I would say uh, like the first time playing against uh, – first time playing against Kobe, first time playing against Braun. Yeah. Like in that setting, you know, because like you played pickup with them before, but like mm -hmm. now you're on the actual like – yeah. yeah, NBA floor with these guys, you know. Yeah, and um, you know, getting a chance to get out there and, and guard them and compete against them, and just see like how like what makes them so great, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those are just moments that like you know, I always share, you know. So yeah, uh, yeah. Like that was one of my questions for you. Like, how do you? Going into the game, you know, okay, I got to match up against Kobe. How do you mentally prepare? How are you physically preparing for that matchup? Well, luckily, I mean, well, not luckily. I wish I would have had more of a challenge or more of an opportunity to guard him more. But it's yeah. like most of the time, I'm thinking of the guys I got to guard off the bench. But moments where you do get switched on them, mm -hmm. you're just like, okay, like just keep them in front. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like try to keep yeah. them in front. You know, make them take yeah. a tough, tough shot, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, pray he don't make it. So <laughs> for me, uh, you know. Cause it's like you seen he just abused everybody, you know. Yeah. Like every trick in the bag he had, it, you know. Yeah. It's just like, 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 you know, when you're going, you see these guys like definitely. Um, when the when the game started, it wasn't more like I I wasn't a fan, you know. Yeah. I was like, okay, like I'm trying to go at him just like he's trying to go at me. Yeah. You know? And that's the one thing I love about this game is that like, you know, as soon as that 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 ball goes up, it's it's game time. And, uh, you know, uh, I love that part just yeah. about competing against whoever it is. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. Who was the toughest person you ever had to guard in your career? Oh, man. Off the rip. So, like I said, I always was, like, off the yeah. bench. I had to guard a lot of, like, uh, oh, I had to guard New York JR. JR oh. He was with the Knicks. Yeah. Jamal Crawford was an actual animal. Crazy. Kevin Martin was tough. Kevin Martin uh, was a problem. And a lot of uh, – dude that gave me problems that, uh, was um, Marco Bellinelli. Ooh, yeah. It was just, like, weird. Like, because he wasn't hitting you with a whole bunch of stuff, but he could shoot the, you know, the mess up. So and yeah. it was like, you know, he come off a pig shot. You know what I mean? Draw, yeah. draw a foul, then you know, or yeah. you know, running off a, you know, stagger, catch and shoot. Yeah. Like, Damn, you already got ten. Like how that? This was San Antonio Bellinelli. This was uh San Antonio uh Bellinelli, San Antonio. Okay. Uh, oh, and uh, I caught him in Chicago too. I got him in Chicago. Oh, okay. Too. Chicago. Uh, yeah. Bellinelli was. I was like, Damn, man, I can't, I can't do nothing with this man. Um, yeah. But uh, the the best part was that, you know, on the other end, I was, you know, going back at him. So, uh, yeah. but Jamal, I'll say Jamal Crawford for sure. Like, that was like, Definitely. that was like, can't dude, be mad at that. I, you know, grew up, you know, idolizing too, you know, just the, the way he, he handled the rock for his size, being a big guard. Yeah. Um, yeah. All the just did, he was just so versatile, could do so many different things, three level score. So it was yeah. like, man, like, I used to play against, you know, Jay Crossover, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Me, I was like, I ain't trying to get Crossover, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, he, he got so much stuff, he's like, yeah, to have him, man. So, yeah, yeah no, I'd say Jamal for sure. Okay. Um, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, your upbringing. I know you're born from, from California. 
Mm -hmm. um, just talk about, you know, growing up in California, you know, and like when you fell in love with the game of basketball and when did you really realize like this is what I want to do with my life? Yeah, so I'm from Seaside, uh, California, so it's like uh, Central Coast. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, growing up, like, family played a lot, uh, played a lot of ball, played football, uh, baseball, and basketball. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, they, you know, they wanted me to try all, all the different sports. My favorite was football. Yeah. And uh, I love the Raiders. So, like, for me, I got a chance to play. Like, we had a Seaside Raiders football team growing up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I played quarterback, played quarterback, and I moved to a uh, receiver as I got a little older. Um, yeah. And, you know, like I was getting more highly recruited for football. Yeah. And um, I think at the time, like probably 16 or 17, I was a little better at football than I was at basketball. Yeah. But, uh, but basketball just presented more challenges. And, uh, you know, I feel like I, I had a lot of challenges growing up anyway. So yeah. it's like nobody picked me to do, really do much with it. Um, but I knew, like, my work ethic. I knew the the type of mentality that I had. That, like, I was like, I knew if I gave it everything I had, then I believed I had a shot. You know, I didn't care yeah. if my brothers or nobody else believed in me. It was more so uh, that I believed in myself. And, yeah. you know, I knew uh, – I told my best friend, Brandon, when I met, uh, we were in our dorm room, and I was like, I'm working to get to the league. And he was like, this is when I met Loyola Marymount. And he was like, what? He's like, yeah. I was like, I'm, a, I'm going to the league. And he was like, all right, bro. He's like, but like, let's hit these books. I was like, yeah, that's cool. But like, yeah. I'm really about to go to the league. And he was like, and I think he like started seeing it as he like the work and like, the game was speaking for itself and you know the numbers I was getting he was like oh bro I might be on to something you know yeah. that was uh for me like I just loved the 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 work that you could put into this craft right yeah. and like all you needed was a ball you know a ball and a basket or you know and a court you know what I mean just room to 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 do your thing and uh yeah What's up, Big Mo? Um, but, like, that was it for me. And, like, I didn't need anybody to kind of, like, tell me, like, hey, get up and go do it. It's like, nah, like, my brother showed me the blueprint. I just wanted to take it and, and run with it, you know, because he, yeah. he went to college. He played ball, um, went to Weber State, uh, played there, and then went overseas, played there. And I was like, for me, I just wanted to be better than him. Like that was my that was that's my favorite player, you know. So yeah, um, seeing my big bro do do things that um, I can only imagine, I wanted to take it further than him. So yeah, yeah that was that was it. That's when I I knew I loved the game around seven years old. Like I was like, yeah. I'm not wanting to do. I wanted to be a a, a baby Shaq. I thought I was gonna be seven feet, and just that yeah, so I had to. Had to turn the shacks in for some Kobe's and and get yeah. to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, for you, you know, what was the jump? You know, for playing high school ball to college ball. You know, like the mentality that you had to pretty much learn going into college because we all know high school ball is like you know you go you have fun whatever, but college is like a totally different like the the film sessions, the early morning lifting, the school, the lifting again, the film, and then going to the pros, which is like more laid back, but it's more like it's all on you if you want to, you know, be serious about it or you're going to lose your spot. Um, yeah. Those three different levels, you know, what was something that you had to learn between each level for you that you had to mentally prepare for and to, like, really open your eyes? Like, okay, this is different. Uh, you know what it was? It was um, actually going into my freshman year of college. Mm -hmm. I just came off, uh, you know, that was, like, my like my first year really just focusing on just yeah. hoops. You know what I mean? Like, I was playing football volleyball all these other different things track and then you know i was going to my senior year and um you know the coach basically the football coach was like hey man you should just focus on you know football and you know leave basketball alone and so i really just worked on my game that summer to to get ready for my senior year for basketball and i was lucky to get you know 13 division one offers went out to the field told the coach like hey 
Like, I got 13 Division One offers for a basketball, you know, what you got for me? Yeah. Like, well, you know, if you do this and, and that, you know, and this is all from him saying that I was going to be a D3 center, you yeah. know, for, for, you know, basketball. And I was like, and so I just walked up to the field and my brother was like, you sure? And I was like, shit, I'm, I'm full steam ahead with this, with the hoop. Yeah. And, um, you know, that right there kind of helped, helped get me ready mentally. Like, I was like, okay, mentally, I know I can I can battle through anything. I, I already – now I know that colleges want me, right? Yeah. So I get the scholarship, had a great senior year. And then my brother's training me one day, and he's like, man, like, you looking a little lethargic. Like, you moving, like, too too cool. And I was like, what you mean? And he was like, you ain't, you ain't moving hungry right now. So then he plays me one on one, and so my brother's my brother's seventeen years older than me. Yeah, and so he whoops me and just starts talking crazy. Yeah, you ain't ready. You ain't you don't want this. And so like I'm tight, and so I have yeah. a middle brother Jamil, who's like you know we talk every day. So he was like he was tripping like I ain't heard from my brother. So like what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> and so like you know. My older brother's talking crazy about me. I'm telling him, like, man, I'm not trying to hear none of that. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, I know what I'm doing, which I didn't know what I was doing. And, uh, you know, uh, eventually we squashed it, like, you know, a few days later or whatever. But I, I was tight, got back focused after that. And, um, uh, yeah, man, like, from that moment right there, I was like, okay, I can't, like, when I step on – you know, on this court, I can't take it, can't take it easy. Like, cause he was telling me this as, you know, as a young, that there's always somebody working. And like, even though, you know, we're on Cali time, whatever, he's like somebody in New York's already getting it. Somebody in, you know, Chicago's already at it. Yeah. You behind, like what you going to do? So like, you know, that moment right there, like translated to college. So I was always, you know, or the early, you know, went to the gym, uh, the last one to leave, and that just was like my motto. I was like, I'll just have to work everybody, you know what I mean? Because, like, yeah. nobody even picked me to be in this position, you know. Yeah. wasn't ranked, didn't have none of that going into college. Like, my coach, college coach, was like, We just need somebody who can, you know, sold me a dream, and it actually was real. He was like, I need somebody to fill it up. I, need mm -hmm. somebody who, I said, Shit, I was like, That's where Why I want to be. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, and Coach Tension was was great. Like that was my guy. Like um, he believed in me. You know, when a lot of people didn't, and he gave me opportunities to fail, fail some more, mm -hmm. and and keep working through those times. You know, because that was yeah. a tr trying year. Um, we only won like six games. You know, and mm -hmm. going from your your winner in high school to college, you just you're one of the worst teams in college basketball. So you're like, what? And, you know, that right there, those moments helped shape me for, you know, yeah. where I am today and being able to still, you know, play it at a high level. Yeah. Uh, I read up on that you went to Loyola Marymount and then I guess of a coaching change, you transferred mm -hmm. to Santa Barbara? Yeah, yeah. So okay, that, that happened, but yeah, because we had a terrible year. And okay. um, Santa Barbara wasn't even my, my first choice. Um Actually, Santa Barbara wasn't even on the list. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't on the list. What were some schools that were talking to you? Uh, I had Purdue. I had St. John's. I had uh, Oregon State. Um, Sa San Diego State. Yeah. Um, and for me, San Diego State probably was the one I was like, all right, still in Cali. Yeah. And um, shoot, I love San Diego. Yeah. You know, that's my favorite city, so. Uh, and then uh, Purdue really came in hard. Um, you know, like they had a really good team, good coaching staff, um, and like yeah, my brothers just wasn't rolling. They was like, yeah, nah, we not, we not letting you leave. Like you know, Cali basically. So it, it like limited all of my options. You mm -hmm. know, they were, we were so close. You know, they raised me, and yeah. um, you know, they were like, as long as we get a chance to watch you play, we want to be able to to see you so yeah um you know so then they like damn near like, i end up taking like a official or unofficial visit to santa barbara and 
<laughs> they one of them called the coach and told him that I was coming. And I remember getting a call from the coach, like, you know, I heard you're gonna be a gaucho. And I said, Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. And he was like, hey, is everything okay? I'm like, no, it's actually you have to be a little it's like, yeah, no, I'm excited. I said, I'm gonna call you right back. You just weren't ready to announce it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I called my called my brother. I said, Who the hell called this coach? And told him I'll come to Santa Barbara. He said, I ain't do nothing like that. I said, Oh no. I said, one of you one of y'all did this. Yeah. And so like they're playing, you know, you know, like I don't know what you're talking about. Like, yo, know, but that's yeah, that's where you need to be at though. I was like, I, I like that. I was like, Oh man. <laughs> so, you know, this time I, I didn't I, I tried to put up a fight, tell him yeah. I was like, you know, like that ain't it. He was like, No, he's like, if you're good enough, they'll find you. Yeah. yeah. So like that stuck with me then. I was like, Okay, like He's like, for all the things you say you want to do, you want to be, a, a, you know, like a franchise player. You want people to, you know, to bring people in and, and mm -hmm. be part of something. And you be, you know, a focal point of that. He's like, I feel like if you go here, you could turn this thing around. Yeah. And some things that, you know, the school ain't seen. And I was like, you know what? All right, bet. Yeah. So, you know, I literally, yeah. like, I remember I like walked in the coach's office and uh, you know, he had like this, I was like, <laughs> this is what my mind was just all about buckets. I promise you. But it was like, uh, I was like, who's all time leading score. I was like, I'm gonna break that in three years. And he was like, Oh man, he's like pretty confident. I said, no, nah, I just know my work. It's like, so end up smashing that in three years, coming to draft pick making it work for me so yeah you know, it definitely worked out in uh yeah. in my favor and I, I salute my brothers for uh i guess you know listening uh, finally <laughs> yeah yeah so like you said the 2012 uh draft second round 36 pick to sacramento mm -hmm. what was that what was that feeling for you were you like were they telling you like yo you're gonna go this like were you in like your agent was he telling you like okay you're potentially going this pick or this way this way and like your draft workouts, how 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 many draft workouts did you have, and what team did you work out for? Oh man, I had a I had eleven, I want to say eleven workouts, um, and I was projected from you know like the twenties, like I was projected like at first one from um, second round, then I moved all the way up to like late first round, like twenties to yeah. you know it was like oh he's a He's a first rounder, and then okay. so like I'm thinking like, okay, cool, like yeah, that's what I've been wanting to hear. You know, I've been I've been grinding. I I know my work's you know speaking for itself, and um, a lot of it had to do with my age because I was going to be one of the older guys too, coming yeah. out of the draft being a senior. So yeah. like I knew that they always took a lot of younger guys early, and so so especially now, man, everybody's one and done, man. I'm like, damn, I'm like, <laughs> oh my goodness, you know what I mean? But it's like they don't credit the guys that stay and keep getting yeah. better you know what i mean yeah. it's like another oh, you know let's just yeah. draft them a little later yeah. and um so like you know i'm in the room i'm in a, a hotel room uh, back in my hometown of seaside with my brother and my agent uncles and stuff and it's like my bro my brother jamel is like the comedian like the funny dude boss. yeah he's serious and shit but my agent, like, he knows all the picks. So, I mean, he's he's like saying, like, oh, they're about to draft him. And my brother Jamel's kind of like, you know, he's like looking over at me like, where's she going? <laughs> I'm like, bro, like, stop looking at it. Like, stop talking to me. I mean, like, and then, you know, my my best friend's in there, too. He was like, ski, you good? I'm like, so I'm getting, like, a little tight. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Bro, like, it's getting to the point where I'm like, all right, they're saying I could go here. I worked out for this team. I know – I know the workouts I did really well. I know the ones I did. I was like, they might not, you know what I mean? But I was like, okay. I was like, whatever. Like, so it just keeps going, keeps going. And, and like, it gets to the end of the first. I'm like, wait, what? I didn't go. So I'm like, I'm tight. I go for a walk. I'm like, you know, upset. Uh, my best friend just kind of put it all back in his perspective. He's like, you've always been the underdog. What you think going to be different? And I was like, oh. Okay, all right. So I go back in the room, you know, agents like, yo, Sacramento's about to draft you. But 
Sacramento is about to draft you. But, but, um, but Indiana is trading for you. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, that was the one work I know that I murdered. Like, I went destroyed cats there. And that yeah, was yeah. like, uh, that was, um, that's when I knew I probably was like, okay, Indiana, like, this is where I want to be. I remember after the workout, once I, because I, I got injured during the workout, like, I went and shot and, like, set on somebody's ankle. Mm-hmm. And uh, Larry Bird comes up to me and was like, man, you was having a hell of a workout. And I was like, man, like, for he's like, we'll be in touch. And I said, oh, so I'm like, oh, Larry Legend talking to me like that. I was like, oh, we got a shot at this thing. Right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, bro, it was like, that's what happened. Like, but I yeah. worked out for, oh, man, let's see. Cleveland, uh, Chicago. Uh, where else was I at? Um, Cleveland, Chicago. Golden State. Uh, in LA? No. Hmm. Toronto, yeah. no. Uh, they Toronto. had you everywhere, bro. You was Portland. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was all over. I was all over. Yeah, yeah. Detroit I had to work out for them. Um, yeah, bro. It was. It was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, I was on. Yeah. I was on the go. I was on the go for sure. So yeah. So yeah. you know, playing in Indiana, you playing with one of the best two way players there is, in Paul mm-hmm. George. Yeah. That uh. You know, playing with Paul George, man, how was that for you and how did that help your game? Oh, man, playing with, with Paul was, was cool, man, because I played yeah. against him in college. Um, yeah. Oh, that's right. He went to Fresno, right? He went to Fresno, so I played against him there. Um, mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, so we already had a Cali connection and being able to, you know, chop it up with him. We we clicked instantly. Um, so that was my dog, you know, especially when we were there. Um and just seeing his growth in his game, yeah. like how smooth he was, how he could do like so many different things, how versatile yeah. he was. He became such a better uh, decision maker, you know, with the ball in his hands, you know. And then yeah. seeing him elevate as a scorer too, you were just like, man, like this dude is tough. Yeah. And like size, you know, being six eight, six nine, he was able to just do things, you know, um, that you were just like low yeah. key and like, like damn, like this dude is animal like it's just yeah. different you know yeah and um you know like i said just seeing his growth man his game like was special him and and lance seeing them two like grow and then being a part of that you know yeah. um getting a chance to compete against that every day like you know and knowing that you know i wasn't backing out from nothing so yeah like having those two dudes like like that like at at my position was like pretty cool like to learn yeah. from them and and grow with them too yeah. Okay. Like for for those of us, you know, from the outside looking in, what is an NBA game day like for you? You know, what is the day consist of? You know, the traveling and stuff like that. You know, how's the how does the NBA game day look? Uh, home game, away game. How we doing it? Um, you do both. Both. Okay. So home game, like you usually have shoot around at like ten, right? Mm-hmm. So we come in, we we'll shoot for about an hour. Um, you know. If you want to lift, get your lift on or something like that. Then you, uh, you know, go back, get your little pregame nap, something to eat. Uh, you know, head over to the gym. I was a young guy, so, like, I'll have to – younger guys show up early, like probably about four hours before the game. So, like, at around three, you get on the court, get your work in for about 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, then, like I said, you could either go back and lift, listen to some music, you know what I mean? Whatever, just to get your mind right for the game, you know. And then, uh, so everybody's kind of going through their, you know, pregame shooting uh, till about, I think about 90 minutes or hour on the clock. Then we come in, go over our film, uh, stretch, do all that, uh, kind of go over our game plan, what we're trying to get done. And then, uh, shoot, by then, that was three and a half hours before it's, it's game time. Yeah. On the road, pretty much the same thing. Like, you yeah. just uh, show to the ring. Maybe might be at 11 if the home team goes before you. You know, get your hour in on the court, go over, you know, the plays and everything like that. Make sure everything's, uh, you know, tuned up and tight. Yeah. And then you uh, come back, relax, 
get your little pregame meal, head to the gym. First bus yeah. goes to the gym, second bus, and then, you know, like I said, you're in the film. You know, they got the film up. Make sure you're constantly watching what they're, what the other team's going to be running. Yeah. And like I said, it's game time. So, so for yeah, like whole, for the whole road day, games. it's a whole day's worth, though, for sure. Like a game day is, yeah, yeah. A whole day's yeah. worth. And you fly in the night before. Okay, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to ask you. Know you. Know I mean? So you fly in the night before, get your rest, and wake up and you know, get right to it, man. So is it, is it? Is it always like that? So if you guys play the night before, do you guys leave right after the game, or do you leave that morning? Yeah. Okay. No, you leave right after the game. You leave right after the game. If you have a back to back, you're probably not gonna do a shoot around. You'll just like wake up, have brunch, have your, you know, breakfast. Yeah. And, and at breakfast, we'll probably watch some film, go over yeah. some things. Might walk through at the you know the little uh, area uh, where we're having food, just to kind of like go through things and then. Yeah. We'll have the same early bus, late uh, second bus, and then it's game time. Okay. Uh, for you, were you one of the guys that were, like, super fresh in the tunnel? Like, game day, you were super fresh. You you know, the cameras taking pictures of you and stuff like that? Uh, I didn't really feel like that. Maybe until, like, my second year, I was like, okay, let me get my fits up a little bit. Um, yeah. And let me, uh, let me spend a little money because my, my rookie year, my, my boys used to be killing me. Like they be like, uh, my 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 best friend had an Acura, and so like yeah. I was like, all right, cool, I'm just pulling up in this, and they was like, yo, yo, Rook, come on, man, we gotta get you something. Like everybody got you know, Range, Porsche, Mercedes, yeah. all these different whips up in there, and I was just pulling up in the Acura, but I was like, yo, look, this I'm money rookie, right man. here, yeah, I'm saving, I'm saving this. Like you ain't about to have me out here. You know what I mean? And then, like, one of my team was like, well, it, if you don't want to whip like that, just lease it. So I was like, oh, okay. So then the next year I came back and leased a, a Mercedes and had that. And it was like, okay, now you now you get to Now you're good. Right. Yeah. yeah. What was so, some of your What was some of your rookie duties, man? You know, now when we see on TV, they had a rookies, you know, they'll order a whole bunch of food and make you go pick it up and pay for it. I seen the Milwaukee Bucks. Put a whole bunch of popcorn in Stella Brown's car. Like, what was some of the rookie things they did to you? Oh, see, I'm glad I didn't have a car for that because you know, <laughs> I, I had a teammate that they they, they did that too. Um, but uh, for me, it was like it like the candy and stuff for the team. Yeah, uh, um, candy and stuff for my for my guys, and then. Let's see what anything else I had to do. Uh, mm, it was light, man. It was like my, oh, they my get, best. Okay. Like they treated me good, man. Like yeah. they never, uh, we didn't have to do too, nothing too crazy. Didn't have to wear no costumes or nothing like that. Like yeah, they they looked out for me. You know? Okay, like, good, and, good, good, good. D, D West, D West made you know he looked out. He ain't he ain't had me yeah. out here looking too crazy, man. Okay, cool, cool. cool. Uh, for you, bro, what was something big that you ever overcome in your life that kind of made you the person you are today? You know, that kind of that motivates you now. Uh, let's see. It kind of shaped me. Um, I want to say it's just like my family, man. I grew up with, you know, 15 plus members in my wow. household. Wow. Um, my grandma raised us, you know. Um, and she had 10 kids, so I had wow. a lot of cousins, aunts, uncles, and stuff, like, in there. Yeah. Um, my brothers were in there for a little bit as well. Um, so, you know, I just think that whole, like, how my family, we, we, like, were so tight, and we grinded for everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we didn't have, have it all like that, you know what I mean? Like, I remember them days being on welfare. I remember all that. Yeah. Food stamps. And, like, i just say those moments like that just yeah. made me be, be appreciative for the things that I'm able to have now. Yeah. And just uh, never take it for granted, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I know what it's yeah. like. And, yeah. To, to, um, and that's why it just keeps me hungry, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, never yeah. go back. And uh, um, I think just being from a small city like Seaside yeah. Uh, yeah. has pushed me a long way, too. Yeah. Not a lot of people, you know, have the opportunity to make it out. You know what I mean? When there was a 
Yeah, a lot of really, really good athletes to come out of there. Um, that yeah. might have had some unfortunate circumstance that didn't give them the opportunity to, to make it out. So yeah. to me, it was just like, I have a chance. I have to take advantage of this chance, you know, because yeah. not a lot of people do get an opportunity like that. So for me, yeah. it was just trying to make the most of it every time. Thanks, thanks. Um, so my next question for you, bro, I'm not too familiar with, you know, the Hoopers from California, but who are the top five players from California, in your opinion? Top five from Cali, like, all time? Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn, I might, yeah, I might be slipping on a few, like, J-Kid, GP. Yeah. Um, let me think, let me think. Uh, now, I'm thinking about it, Cali got a bunch. You got Kawhi, like, PG, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. Got. The, yeah, I was trying to I was trying to go give old school some love Okay, too. okay, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, damn. Greg Foster was up there. You know what I mean? Like, he did yeah. his thing for the Bay. Um, who else we got? Well, Calvin Bird. He was, you know what I mean? He was a problem. Y'all had some hoopers out there, man. Yeah, there was, there was some, I mean, but then you got today is like Kawhi, Dane. Yeah, Dane's probably, Dane's probably my favorite PG in the league. Yeah, um, facts. Uh, what else we got? Uh, PG, Dame, Kawhi, Russ, James, you know Demar, I mean? Demar, Demar yeah. DeRozan. Like, it's a, he's a problem. Oh my goodness! Crazy he, numbers, man. They need to start putting giving that man his roses because he is cold. Yeah, he's facts. Cold. Drew Holiday. One of my favorites. Um, yeah, bro. There's a there's a lot. Of, there's a lot you can just Man. keep running off. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, give me your top five all time rappers. Top five all time rappers. Okay. Let me see who you rock. Who you rocking with? Let's see, let's see. Okay, I got it. in any order or any like, order you want to go. Because I just I'm about to just go off the head. Fifty okay. up there yeah. for me. Cameron. Yeah. Um, Jay Z, uh, Drake, yeah, and I gotta have. Oh man, he's he, Mike. I might Wayne. Okay, Wayne, Wayne, yeah. Wayne's up there, but I'm okay. probably uh, I got Ross right out of, right outside, and I you know what I got Fab, mad at that. I got Fab Fab's one. Of, Damn. Yeah, it, it's tough. okay. Give me okay. You got me. You got you gave me five. Give me your other yeah. five here because you. Okay, you I got Fab. I got Ross. Okay. I got, um, the game. Um, that's eight. Yeah. The uh, but I mean, I can't forget my my my. You know, Pac. Pac was big for me. Um, and DMX. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got a killer list. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You listen to rap now. Right, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, who, who your, uh, who your, <sighs> some of the, well, yeah, I don't know all of them like that because yeah. I still be listening to all the, the ones that, you know, put me the on. Older generation, yeah. You know, uh, damn, who was, uh, shit, I would have to go through a, a list, but <laughs> so I, I can't even tell you the names right now. Um, Let me see. Right oh, now, 20, we got 21, 21. I've been listening to 21 a lot. Oh, yeah. Benny the Butcher. Um, yeah. Damn. Who else? Uh, Twenty One Benny, uh, J Electronica. Um. Damn. Who else is there? You like uh, Little Baby, NBA Young Boy, Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich. Roddy, Roddy Rich. Rich. Like yeah. that. Um, he's for sure like that. Uh, who else out there? I still mess with Wiz. With Wiz like that. Um, yeah, yeah, bro. There's a, so you kind of like that, like that chill rap. You ain't really yeah, with that. Yeah, okay, yeah. I respect that. Okay, something to ride to. Yeah. All right, give me your favorite shoe of all time. Favorite shoe of all time, or like on the court, or just to walk around. Like, just casual, yeah. casual. Man, you know you really can't beat some Jordan ones, man. I love ones. Which ones your favorite? Huh? Which ones? The Jordan uh, ones. 
with the black. I like my well, mine is the uh, the black and white ones, the black and white ones. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I love the really I love the royal toes, bro. Them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they're see. my favorite. I love them shoes, man. Oh man, I remember I gave. Uh, I this how I know that was my my boy. I gave him some ones, and I'm like, damn, I really don't want to get these up. But, and my boy, he was like, yo, he's like, oh, I like those. I'm like, bro, you know what? Hold that. Um, he just he he knew you was gonna do it, bro. That's why he yeah, tried. Yeah, yeah. So he <laughs> like those. All right, bro, you got them. You know what I mean? <laughs> they was off the strength because that was the homie and stuff. So yeah. I had to look out. But, yeah, I'll okay. say some ones or some forces for sure. Okay. Um, this one, bro, I don't know if you might you might know it, uh, but Chicago pizza or New York pizza? Oh, uh, Chicago. Chicago deep ditch. What's mm-hmm. the, uh, your favorite Chicago restaurant? I can't hear you, bro. Can't hear you. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Somebody was calling, so I was like, "Damn, what happened to the <laughs> sound?" But um, let me see. I want to say it was uh, is it Grand or something like that? Is it is there a restaurant? It's like a or Lux. Is it is it Grand Lux or some? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I, I really like the little scenery and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Damn. There was a little like it was a hole in the wall like. Like pizza spot, the last one that I, I was out there, and uh, uh, you got to you got to hit you the Harold's, bro. You got to hit the Harold's yeah. chicken spot. Okay, I had I had that one time. Uh, yeah. One of my boys was out there, and we were about to play uh, Chicago, and uh-huh. uh, this fool brought me some of that chicken like before the game, and I was like, bro, I can't really eat this, but I did take a piece and smacked it. And I was like, oh man, I see yeah. you know, this thing off the chain. Yeah, so you gotta hit the, gotta hit the Harolds. You gotta hit the Uncle Remus. It's another chicken spot. Another chicken spot. Um, you gotta hit Patillos. I don't know if you had Patillos before. What's that? It's like a, it's a big franchise, bro. So they known for like the Italian beefs, the burgers, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Definitely gotta try Patillos, man. That's definitely one of the biggest spots out here. Okay. All Crazy. Right. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite city to play in? Favorite city to play in. Awesome. New York, I like yeah. the energy out there. New York yeah. is, you know what I mean? Like, they love who they do, and they like to, you know what I mean, get after it. So, yeah. I say, I say, New York, just the the energy and the crowd, you know, in there is, yeah. man, you know, bonkers, and you know they gonna let you know. Like if you yeah. stink, they gonna let you know. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, yeah. I enjoy the playing out there. Um, another one would be uh, oh yeah, Chicago, of course, always rocking in the United States. Definitely, yeah. Um, did you go to All Star Weekend? I didn't. I didn't go you to All Star. Uh, I didn't. Okay. Uh, I didn't Toronto, Toronto's like that too. Yeah, yeah Toronto. Um, so yeah, there was a few different cities that uh, okay. I enjoyed playing. Okay, uh, the last two I got for you, bro. Uh, for you, you know, what was some advice that somebody gave you, you know, that really worked for you that you use to this day that you would give to the younger generation? Mm-hmm. Oh, so 
it goes back to I probably was like seven or eight, and uh, I remember I was playing like NBA Live or something like that on the PlayStation. And uh, my cousin's boyfriend at the time came in and was like, he's like, oh, you pretty nice at this video game. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going like, I'm to I'm go to the NBA. He was like, oh, for real? He's like, how are you going to do that by playing this video game? And it literally, like, made me stop. And I was like, wait, huh? He's like, you know, people that go to the NBA, they actually got to, like, work in their game and go outside and, and, like, play. And I was like, oh. Dropped the controller, went to my backyard, just started dribbling, dribbling shooting and it was like oh i kind of like this like yeah. yeah like this is what i want to do yeah you know it was like kind of fighting with football because i was like yeah. I love football you know but yeah that was like one of the things that like sitting there playing that video game and then get out there and work it. yeah get yeah. to it like, okay yeah okay and then last question um who would you like, who do you think I should have on here next? You know, if it's somebody that you, you know, who with before that I don't know, you know, just, uh, you know, plug me with them, but I'm just trying to reach as many people as possible. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Uh, the, the Okay. The next person, man, there's a few. Um, James Nunnally, my college teammate, he was, uh, he's one to reach out to. Uh, let's see. Uh, Will Cherry, uh, Oakland product, uh, overseas pro. Yeah. Uh, let's see. If, man, I'm trying to think. I've seen I've seen some of the people on there, so I'm trying to think of the guys that I've actually played against. Two to reach out. Um, see, oh, EJ Rowland. EJ Rowland, uh, long time pro overseas. Um, yeah. In years. Uh, okay. Yeah, man, there's a few. I know there's other guys too, and I'll probably okay. take them them your way for sure. For sure. But like I said, I definitely appreciate you for joining me, big bro. Um, yeah. It's definitely an honor, you know what I'm saying? Like my homie was just telling me, he's like, man, I used to go crazy with him on 2K. <laughs> so it definitely yeah. was, you know, the dope, you know, that you actually hit me back, you know, because yeah. some people act a little, you know, like oh, they're yeah, too good. Nice. So, sure. yeah. So, like I said, I definitely appreciate you, man. I wish you all the best. You know, stay safe. And uh, we'll keep in contact, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, bro. All right, bro. All right, now. Yeah.